prime. He was the most lethal fast bowler in the world and arguably the best left arm quick of all time. But Wasim Akram's career is drawing to a close. The former Pakistani captain retired from international cricket in May and was forced to quit English county side Hampshire for health reasons just last month. Before he left, though, we spoke to Wasim at his home in England. Here's part one of that exclusive interview. Wasim Akram has fond memories of his short time spent with Hampshire. In just five championship matches, the Pakistani paceman snared 20 wickets. But he missed three games due to poor health, and his doctors advised the known diabetic to quit the club. The idea was uh, to me to come and obviously uh, give some experience to the young bowlers uh, who are coming up very well. And I think uh, they, they, they're going into sort of, re, uh, you know, rebuilding the side. They're quite a young side, obviously. And it'll take it'll, it'll take a couple of years uh, with coach like Paul Terry. I think they have every chance to, to, to be a very good side in future. He may be a veteran of over 100 test matches, but wasn't admitted to still feeling the pressure to perform at county level. The pressure is always there because if you are if you if you are a good player or if you did well or if you have a good reputation, you have to work hard. I mean, obviously at times you try your best, it doesn't happen. And I think in my case, I've tried my best. I couldn't. I mean, I wanted to perform more, but I couldn't. I mean, whatever I performed, but I've tried my best. And I think at times it happens. Pressure was definitely there. It always will be there. Whatever I'll do in life. Wasm's been impressed with the setup of cricket in England, but he says player burnout is still an issue that needs to be addressed. As far as facilities concerned and the cricket structure concerned, it's excellent. It's number one. It's definitely considered the best in the world. But as far as I think comparativeness concerned, again, uh, the argument has been they play too much cricket. It's, it's no passion left there after two months. Everybody is hoping for either rain or other just, you know. Maybe one day cricket they look forward to. This is the idea I get and I got over the years. This season saw the introduction of 2020 cricket and the revolutionary format of limited overs cricket hasn't just won over the England public. I think it was a top idea, a clever idea by whoever decided it to do it and this should have done about five years ago in England. Obviously it would have helped by now but again it's never too late. Mm -hmm. uh, I, the idea was to get the people in, to get the youngsters in for a couple of hours and because if, if you're seven years old or eight years old coming to watch cricket, he can't stay whole day. Mm. When I was eight or nine, I, I would never go to a stadium and watch whole day of cricket. Mm. For two, three hours, yes, I would watch it and, uh, you know, result, I'll stay there and watch and come home. And that was the idea. And mm. I think it went very well. And uh, in a couple of years, they'll see the difference. There'll be young, more young players, more, more young, uh, you know, uh, 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 people playing cricket all over. Since making his debut back in 1985, Wasm's career has had its fair share of ups and downs, most notably the match-fixing controversies of the 1990s. But he leaves the game with no regrets. I'm 37 now, and going, going, I've just gone 37. So I think, but I, I enjoyed every bit of it, and I wasn't playing cricket for the sake of just money. I was playing it for the love of it as well, and I really enjoyed it. Be competitive, meeting new people, you know, uh, uh, playing against new people, to seeing the different generations in front of me. And, uh, you know, something I'm really, uh, really happy about, really calm about, I really enjoyed myself.